Hello. Today I will be doing a demo on how to replenish your products in FBA. The option we will be using today is the manual one. I recommend this one if you're replenishing 10 SKUs or less. And what we want to do first is hover over manage all inventory. That's at the top on the left hand side. After we click there, it's going to take us to the screen we are on now. Then in the search bar, we look for the AZ or SKU we want to replenish. We hit search and then we check the box on the left hand side of the screen. We're going to be using another one. And again, you check the box on the left hand side. Then you go to this drop down in the middle section where it says action on two selected. You click there and then you choose send or replenish inventory. This will take you to this other screen. Just continue. And it's gonna take us to the send to Amazon uh, workflow. Make sure that when you are on this section, your ship from address is correct and the marketplace destination is correct. And then you're going to see the SKUs previously selected. And then we just have to input the number of boxes we want to send of each one if the box dimensions are already in the system. If they are not in the system, <clears throat> you can just click this drop down under packing details and click on where it says create new packing template and if you click there it's gonna just ask you for the units per box box dimensions and weights etc right now we have that information so we just need to input the number of boxes we are going to send in. For this example, I'm going to do 10 boxes for each SKU. Then we click on ready to send, and then confirm and continue. It's going to take a couple of seconds to process everything. This is going to take us to step two to confirm shipping. Then we choose an estimated ship date if we're doing a small parcel or an estimated pickup date if we are doing LTL. I'm going to do the 30th. And if it is a small parcel, then you choose that here in the shipping mode. If it's LTL, then you click on LTL. We're going to do this first example with small parcel. You review if what you're sending is what you really want to send. You see the charges. Those are going to be charged to your Amazon account balance. And then we accept charges and confirm. This is again for the small parcel delivery option. And then it's going to take us to the print box label section. We want to make sure that we choose the thermal printing option. That is pre-selected there. Then we click on print and it's going to take us to the PDF of the label labels, which we can download uh, to place on the boxes. And that's it. By doing that, we've created our small parcel shipment. And we are back on step two. To get here again, you would need to create a new shipping plan altogether. So this is just to show you what it would look like if you choose the LTL option from this step. And you just have to select here in the shipping mode LTL, confirm shipping destinations, and then it's going to take you to print the box labels. And then after we print those, same as small, a small parcel, make sure thermal printing is chosen. And then we continue to carrier and pallet information. We we add a contact 
and after we add the contact information then it's going to allow us to input the palette di dimensions which we can do here we're going to use those just for the this example we click on confirm and then this part is going to be enabled confirm carrier and pallet information then it's going to take us to the print pallet labels section and after we print those then that's it we've completed the ltl shipment we click here and it's going to generate a pdf which you can download to print uh, later on.